It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1720, recorded Thursday, March 28th, 2019. What a useless show! On this episode of the Gizwiz, we have an umbrella that you probably haven't ever seen before. A look at an older uh, camcorder and really the most useless gadget you've ever seen. I mean, it really doesn't get any more useless than this. All next on The Gizwiz! It's the Salem Show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for The Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for The Gizwiz now. Now! now. And here he is, um, the, 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 I wasn't, I wasn't thinking, normally I think during the intro, the entrepreneur of gadgets, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? Uh, I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing good myself. Just got back from the, the friendliest place on earth and, uh, came back with something. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, well, tell us about your adventure. Sure, you were out there. Raising money? Yes. So we ended up raising $31,000 for the Children's Miracle Network of Hospitals. Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. Um, I I think I said this before on the show, but I am a uh, a now... So it was out there for an event called Extra Life United. Um, Extra Life United is an arm of the Children's Miracle Network of Hospitals. You probably have seen something with them because they have a lot of big corporate sponsors. So I've seen their, um, they're kind of well known for the hot air balloon um, paper. And so if you've ever seen at a, at a like Walmart or uh, I, I even think McDonald's did it at some point, but you could donate some money, they'd write your name on a hot air balloon and stick it on oh, the okay. wall. Yep. Um, and so I've seen those around. Um, but that's kind of the big, big um, charity that uh, everything kind of goes towards. And Extra Life is an, a branch of it that focuses more on the video game uh, space. So they, oh. help, uh, they help basically all the gamers kind of raise money for the Children's Miracle Network hospitals. So they have a small little... Um, the whole Children's Miracle Network of Hospitals has a convention. And they have a little side convention off to the side. And people can raise money for their local hospital. Um, by going to uh, this event, and so that's what I went to. And it's and it's in Giz, it's in uh, Disney in, in Disney Disneyland, World. yes, yeah, in right. Disney World, yes, World, um, yes. in Orlando, and so it's at, at the Coronado Springs Resort. Oh yeah, Center, yeah, that's a beautiful place um, there, and and so yeah, so we have one of the uh, ballroom things and set up lots of games. Um, we do a live stream, and so people can donate throughout the live stream, and all of that goes towards uh, the Children's Miracle Network of Hospitals. And some of those, uh, you can also, they have a really cool angle that you can, you can fundraise for your local hospital. So you can connect your profile to your local hospital and raise money directly for the hospital that you have down the street if it's a Children's Miracle Network hospital. Um, And so I actually, for the first time, uh, I got to meet the representative of my hospital and we talked a little bit about what the funds go to. And she was telling me that the funds that go to Children's Medical Center here in Dallas goes to researching a lot of underfunded things. There's, There's research money all the time for like cancerous issues, like, issues that deal with uh, cancer, but like there's a ton of other issues that don't get funding. So that's one of the things that my hospital does is they put their funds okay. towards research, which I thought was uh, really cool. So anyway, that's what I did, but I also, the, uh, the other really cool thing is it's in Disney World, so we fundraised for the first two days and then I asked- uh, And hey, then you spent it the other- <laughs> Exactly, right. And then we went then to we Disney, it. everybody. <laughs> no, uh, I asked if they could uh, you know, book me on a later flight keep me there a few days and I paid for an extra hotel to go down in it and have some fun at Disney World oh. and it was awesome it's you know Disney is just such a fun place so I I love that I love so, it yeah it was it was really really fun it was super duper fun um yeah 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 
stories. I, I have one story from it, but I don't know if I want to get into it right now. But we did have one issue of, you know, the happiest place on earth can sometimes be the most stressful place on earth. And there were some people who were not having a very fun day, but oh, I'll tell you later. <laughs> okay. <don't>... Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, what did anything happen with you over the week? Uh, boy, nothing too thrilling. You know, I'm waiting uh, for boating season to start. It's been chilly in New York and we had one 60 degree day, but the ice barrier is still up because I don't know. I, I think it's like April 1st when it's in the contract, it has to come down. Um, so just did local shopping and puttering around. Nothing uh, thrilling. I uh, played with a new camcorder that uh, there's a video about. I, I, I just sort of, I would do something wacky and wild and like go back to old tech for a try. And we'll, we'll see how that came out. Um, and then the, the first video it was from an event called Spring new products and turned out to be things more soft goods uh new kinds of ways to enjoy wine and food i mean it was it was good for eating and drinking uh but tech wise you know we see so much stuff at ces uh but i did find one gadget i had never seen before and maybe you haven't e haven't either and this is it Okay. Hey, the Gizwiz New Products Expo 2019. You know about ego? I mean, you have an ego, I have an ego, but this is a different kind of ego. And Sarah's going to tell us, first of all, I just love the way it looks. It is so rugged. It has lights. <coughs> what does it do? So this is the Nexus Power Station. It essentially replaces compact generators. So it harnesses the power from our 56-volt battery and generates power via these outlets. So anything you can plug into an outlet at home, you can plug into this. So think emergency power, plugging in your sump pump, plugging in your Wi-Fi router, uh, freezer, fridge, uh, tea. Uh, fridge? Fridge. No, fridge, this will power. Uh, refrigerators don't generate as much power as you would think. You would open it. When you open it, the compressor kicks on and generates power, but mainly they, they run kind of idle. So yes, this can power a full-size fridge for, if you have these two batteries on, multiple hours. And then how do you charge the batteries? Just with regular AC? So this is also a charger right here. So when this is not, when nothing's plugged into here, you would plug this into the wall and it would charge all four of your batteries. So this is also a charger for your batteries. Can you use this to start a car? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> And and so I'm we'll, um, looking out front here. So we have three AC outlets. Yep, and four USB outlets. And these are all controlled right here. And on this LCD screen, you can see how much power is being drawn by outlet. You can also see how much runtime is being drawn per outlet as well. We also have an app. So if you download the Ego Power Plus app, you can control this device via your app. So think that you're in a tailgate and you go into the game. You can log on to your app, connect when you're connected to this via Bluetooth, and you could turn on your crock pot that's at your tailgate before you go back out to the tailgate so you can have hot chili when you get back to the tailgate. Now, what does this weigh? So it's 40 pounds without which is, Which is not, oh, okay, and 40 pounds. Oh. With these two batteries on, it's about 55 pounds. And uh, now this has to be uh, on the expensive side. Because there's a lot of technology yeah, here. There's a lot of technology yep. in here, but it is um, around twelve hundred dollars. So eleven ninety seven is the retail. Uh, you get two seven and a half amp hour batteries. So it's Ego's largest battery. This battery also powers a snowblower, a lawnmower, every piece of equipment on the Ego platform. That is really amazing. Is it out now? Yes, it's out now. It's at HomeDepot.com, and you can find out more information on EgoPowerPlus.com. I think that's really great. Dick D. Bartolo, the Gizwiz, with a very powerful machine and kind of semi-powerful ego. Okay, bye. <laughs> that is crazy. And that is like a just a gigantic a, a battery. battery <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, exactly. Money. I mean, uh, in a power outage, this would be great. Now, yeah. uh, she said it came with two batteries, but it seems like... It can take up to four, right? And and uh, the uh, 
peak output is 3,000 watts and steady output is 2,000 watts. Oh, actually, they make a ton of stuff. Yeah. So I didn't realize mm. that, that this ego company um, makes so much stuff. And, and it was a little confusing because she was like, well, this is also the charger and this is also the battery area. So oh, it seems I, like I think she meant... Is yeah. that when you when you plug that thing into the wall? Exactly, exactly. Then it then it it, it charges whatever batteries you've hooked on to it. Which makes more sense when you realize that this battery can be used. It it really is the product is the centerpiece that is the charger and the AC the DC to AC converter and a nice little display to tell you how much time you got and what you know what is uh, drawing power and the Bluetooth connection. And then you have and and, and two fifty seven volt batteries. Right, exactly. And so if you already right. had these batteries, it, I mean, this would be um, definitely if you already had, say, a leaf blower, <laughs> you know, or something. <laughs> uh, you already had the you could, the lawn mower, you know, that has a battery. You, this would be a really nice thing because you could charge your batteries on the station, kind of leave it and forget it, and then you have emergency power as well just kind of sitting there. Yeah. Um, no, I, I, now, you know, I, I, I missed one thing. I, I just heard it again now when, when you played it back is, uh, how could you turn on the crock pot if it's only Bluetooth? Because yeah, so, it, <laughs> isn't Bluetooth like a hundred feet max? Yeah, I was thinking that like, she was like, you'd be at the game. I was like, you would have to have a, <laughs> you would have to have a seat like within. Yeah. Right. Actually, distance. you'd have to be, you'd have to be watching the game. On the dashboard. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, of, yeah. exactly. Yeah, I was like, this thing has LTE? Like, what? what is this? And she said, no. via Bluetooth. And I went, oh, that's a little no, bit no, stretching no, it. No, I don't no, know. Not quite, not quite. Uh, yeah, tailgate uh, from your living it, room. Yeah, But if uh, you're a camper and you live in a place where the power goes out often, right? Um, this is pretty neat. Right. And, yeah. and it's it's slightly expensive. I, mean, I know it, it, it is there. pricey. And, and you know, pricey. I, I I searched for it and I just realized I'm I'm wondering if Ego is a company that Home Depot bought. I, I wonder or, if it's or a, runs yeah. because I I did find it online, but for much more money. Yeah. So my guess is that it's the old thing that we know of is that someone goes out and buys it. Yeah. Uh, at Home Depot and then sells it elsewhere for a lot more money, hoping you don't know it's available at Home Depot for a lot cheaper. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the, 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 they're, the big competitor here is just a generator, is if you were just going to have a generator. And those are expensive. So that's the price point that this is really aimed at, is instead of needing a gas-powered generator, you would have this, which this. uses the Which you can use instead. indoors. In <clears throat> a, right. In a tent. Yeah. Yes, exactly. exactly. Right. Right. I, mean, I, I, wish I, I think it's pretty it. neat. I mean, I, I'll be honest, it, it is expensive, but I have never seen, I have never seen a product like this in this category that has the DC to AC converter, the time, time of how much, how long that will last, um, and multiple batteries. I mean, if you really, really invested in something like this, you could have eight batteries sitting around and because you can pull on and off them. They're kind of hot swappable. Um, so I like it. Yeah. Ego. It'd be a good, a good alternate. Yeah. A good yeah. alternate power source. I like it. Uh, okay. Our second guy was, uh, I've been reading about the cat, you know, camcorders are, no one buys camcorders anymore. Barely anybody. Uh, yes, exactly. And I've been using the phone and I actually, I think my phone uh, has great video, but there's always something with the phone is you forget to shut off the Bluetooth or the Wi-Fi or anyway, I thought, you know what, let me just see what camcorders are doing these days. Uh, so, um, I had heard a, a review and on Amazon, people loved this Canon camcorder. So I bought one and did like three little videos and put them together and tell me what you think. Here we are. Okay. All right. So we're doing something new here. We call it mirror vision. Okay. How do you review the gadget that's making the video you're in? And -da -da! Can you see yourself? Oh God. Okay. 
It is the canon. <laughs> Dennis, Dennis so doesn't like being on camera. I know, he it's hates Canon being Vixia. being <laughs> HR, HF R800 camcorder. And this is and the I'm first time he ever down. saw the camera. I just handed so, it to him. So, there are a couple <laughs> things about it that it's gotten great reviews. Canon has not really updated this camera in several years. There's a 600, a 700, this is the 800. Um, according to Lon Seidman, who does reviews on YouTube, they're all basically the same camera because people don't buy camcorders anymore. Uh, what I like about this camcorder, or hopefully will like about it, is that it has a mic jack so you can record and it'll show you on the screen that the mic is working and the volume of the mic. It has a headphone jack so you can actually monitor the sound that you are recording and it has a very long zoom. Can you zoom to something, Dennis? Like, can you zoom to I mean, like, yeah, that's, Alfred over there? <laughs> that's close. So we can see how close you can get. It looks like it has both it's a an optical time and digital. Optical zoom. It does. It has a 30 and uh, time optical. Back. And in theory, this is the first time we're doing this, so yeah. uh, if it's a mess, and it is. It is a mess. Uh, that's okay. Um, and for something from Canon, it's uh, pretty decently priced. Okay? I mean, we don't even know how this is going to look uh, on this thing. There it is, the uh, HR, HFR 800 camcorder. comes in white and black. And it was on sale for $196. Zoom is out of control. Uh, the list price is uh, 250 so what is this going to look like? We'll all see together. All right, so we looked at the video from the Vexia HFR 800, and it looks a little bit dark. So we turned on a couple more lights, and we're just uh, seeing if that helps. Uh, you could do something over there with your zoom, and then we'll take the camera outside and see uh, what it does out there. All right, so we're outside now uh, with the Canon, and we're going to see if it's uh, better because you need a ton of light indoors. So it's the trains are running so-so because we haven't polished the tracks or anything since winter started. But we'll get a good idea of focusing and how the zoom works. Now, when you could pan down and get a picture of Charlie Dog, Charlie Dog. Charlie, the camera shy dog. <laughs> Charlie said, what is that? Is that? Can I have that camera? Is that camera for me? Is that camera for me? Is that nine? Can you smile, Charlie? You know how to smile? <laughs> um, and then we're using just the microphone that's in the uh, can. <laughs> anyway, I love it. It's very funny because I had used an old disco song for those 30 seconds and immediately got uh, an email from YouTube. Yes, this is uh, you, this is copyrighted music. I yes, don't is. is it's a demonetization strike. It's not a copyright strike. You're oh, okay. Okay. But I replaced it anyway yeah. uh, uh, with a, a disco song. I actually wrote the lyrics to that song. Um, <laughs> it's a take, take off on the Bee Gees Staying Alive called Bailey Alive. Uh, Bailey. Anyway, you know, all in all, I, I, I thought the, the video quality was not really amazing. What it's, did you think? It's okay. I mean, you know, it's... it's uh, I think that it really speaks to how good the phone cameras are. Are. Is, is that it's... We it's needed... A, yes, we needed it, half the light. Yeah, yeah. Is, um... Is, is to be honest, that is a... Probably a, a fine 
video camera. You know, it's just it's just good. It's a very it's a nice little consumer video camera. Yeah. Um, the thing is, is that your phone now has this image sensor that has been worked on by thousands and thousands of engineers and um, hardware engineers, software engineers. I mean, all these folks making sure that you're going to get the best video from this sensor that it has had so much more attention paid to it that it just comes out nicer. Um, yeah, no, no. And, uh, and, and this one, I was trying to look to see if it had um, optical image stabilization, which... It does. Of, it does. Okay, good. Um, it, it does. It, it, it looked um, like that. Um, but also, there's a few things that you may not realize kind of make your video better. Is One is zooming in and keeping your hands still. It's like... One of the hardest things. Oh my and, gosh! Because it's it's one handed. It's yeah. Your thumb is on the start stop, and the the what what is a little strange is that the zoom is back and forth on the top of the camera. Right, right. It would have been much wise. easier if it was forward and back. Yeah. So that you didn't have to push on the camera. Right. To to zoom it. I mean, yeah. Dennis and, and I together have maybe. <laughs> 20 minutes of using this. You know, we were both very impressed with the zoom. Yes. And this optical there was something zoom is like, oh my gosh. This is yeah. this is definitely missed on any cam camera nowadays. Yeah. But and and then the it did time. one thing that really turned me off was uh it said um SD card too slow to capture video, uh oh. video stopped. And it erased everything that we had done up to the point where it said that. Now I had, uh, what is the highest number? Ten, right? 10, on an SD yeah. card. Yeah, yeah. I have an, an SD. What is it? A S XC ten. Yeah. Isn't that like yeah. a fast card? Yeah, that's supposed to be the fastest. Yeah. It and wow. it didn't. It thought that was too slow. It just said, uh, what? A "Card cannot accept writing at this speed." And I was what? just using 1080p. Um, well, at 30 that frames. That is weird. It is yeah. weird. HDSC, yeah. I think is what it's called. H HDSC. Yes, yes. Yeah, some, this is, what, I, this yeah. is what's jumping yeah. to mind. Um, but yeah, you know, that should be the fastest card. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm probably going to keep it. But what, what is the deal if you buy something and it's not broken, but you, you, can do that. Really you, think, you think it's a piece of junk? You can return it. You can it. send it back? Yeah. Yeah. And you just say, didn't don't want it. You know, buyer's remorse. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, totally. Um, uh, th that's now, very weird, the memory card thing. But, but uh, yeah, I mean, I think it really just speaks to how good these phone cameras are. Uh, absolutely. And then on top of that, once it's on a phone, it's so usable. You can upload it, you can transfer it, you can move it around. Once you get it onto an SD card, now you're like, okay, well, how do, okay, now I need a computer. Where's, where's yeah, my adapter? Yeah. You know, I can't oh, tell you. <laughs> and this, this, this is how long ago this this uh, has been upgraded. It uses the big USB, you know, the big oh, thick the, one. The USB mini, which is like shaped like a hexagon. Yes, exactly. Not micro, which is the, right. is the, the kind of flat one right yeah. before USB type C. Yes. Oh my gosh! Yeah. And, yeah. and if you if you are interested in this camera, uh, watch La the Lon TV review because this camera goes up to like four hundred and fifty dollars. But Lon said it's all the same camera as far wow. as he knows. Uh, all they add is Bluetooth, uh, near near field communications, uh, Wi Fi, and he said the the app. They developed, I guess, the app years ago and never bothered changing it. It's very clunky. Yeah. So I knew right away, just get the base model, and you're yeah. basically getting what everybody. A, a lot else of times getting. with these apps, what they'll do is they'll go to a third party who will develop it, and then they're, they once they launch the product, it's done. They don't they don't <laughs> yeah. continue to develop it because they're they're actually not making it. They've hired this other company to make it. And once it's shipped, they're like, okay, well that's the product. We're done. We're done. We're done. Yeah. That's why you also, I was just using a uh, SanDisk uh, product earlier and it has like, there's like five SanDisk connect wireless connect apps because every product has a new app because I assume they went to a third party every single time and made a different <laughs> SanDisk connect app. Anyway, 
Super frustrating. Anyway. Anyway. All right. So that's the uh, Canon Vixia uh, HF R800. Uh, okay. And something new from Bracketon. I don't know if you know that company. Bracketon makes every conceivable way to hold things. And they came out with a new device for airplanes, cars, and hotels. And they did a better video than I did. So we'll start with the, um, let's see, there's one video before this one, yeah. Chad. Perfect. Uh, and, and the guy's very funny. So here's a little a minute 10 video on how you use it on an airplane. Perfect from Bracketon. Three, two, one. Jeez. Hey, thanks for stopping by. I'm Dave from Bracketron. Wanted to give you a little tutorial about our road tripper airplane travel mount. Works great in aircraft. Uh, wouldn't travel without it. Uh, to operate this mount, it's pretty simple. There's a little wire cable right here. So that at the top and the mount facing you, the bottom buttons actually open up the door with the magnet inside. If you turn it around, the top buttons operate the part that attaches to the seat tray table on your aircraft. You're wondering how that happens? It just so happens I've got a tray table latch right here. When you squeeze the center buttons together, it allows that cable to come out. You work it over the top of the latch and attach it with the feet, let go. And then using your silver disc on the outside of your device for the best uh, possible mounting, you attach it to the magnet and it's ready to go. Also comes with a carrying case. So you can have your mount in here and over here you have room for your earbuds. And you can put everything else inside, cable, charging cables, what have you inside there. And you have one nice little carrying case. If you have any questions, uh, you can email tech at Bracketron.com for any answers. Thanks. Uh, okay, so Dave did the airline thing, and then they have a little 40-second video, uh, which we can play without sound because someone even complained about the sound in this. Um, <laughs> so also, this does something that uh, Dave didn't uh, mention, which is also good, is that when it falls on down, there's room behind it for your headset. So oh, if you're yeah. wearing one of those over-ear things, and then... If you're oh, yeah. not you using it, it be a to hang from the thing, it can be on a stand. And then on cars in the back, there are two clips that open up. So it goes into the vent. And then and in a hotel. The bedroom, it, you can clamp it on your nose if you're snoring. <laughs> Plenty of. We can go out there. Uh, so it's pretty neat looking. It is, uh, there are no reviews yet because it just came out. And that's uh, the little clamps in the back that for the uh, car vent. Uh, it seems incredibly well made. It's gonna. It's under fifty bucks. I think it's forty nine dollars or something. Um, and that is the Bracketon Road Tripper Travel. Oh, there it is. Road Tripper Travel Mount. Interesting. And I assume also. Uh you can just like throw your phone on the little shelf. Yeah, yes, seat. you know what it is. Uh, it he he uh, went by pretty quick. It comes with two metallic, metallic, uh, mag magnetic magnetic discs. Yeah, uh, a big one for an iPad and a small one for your smartphone, and you clip that onto the uh, faceplate of the uh, road tripper is magnetic, and that's all in the box. And it does nice. come in a nice little carry case. Love it, love it. Perfect. Yeah, it's very clever. Very clever. Bracketron. 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 <laughs> okay, with that. And now that leads us to the final. You know you don't need it, but you might want it at chance. Yeah. It's oh. Crappy Corner. Get it. Now, we have had some pretty useless and yes, unusable. Yes, tell them the theme. The, the, the theme, theme of the is month. useless. It's stupid. Unusable, dumb Pointless. gadgets. Pointless. So, um, this is the most. The, you thought that we had some pretty <laughs> useless gadgets before. Some pretty pointless gadgets before. Um, this is the most pointless. Even more than just the surface. 
of <laughs> what this gadget is. It gets even more pointless from there. Um, when we started talking about these useless gadgets, pointless gadgets, um, the first thing that popped to mind, the, I mean, there was something that was just like, okay, I have to get this and I have to review a version of this. Um, did, could you, could, did that happen to you? Could you think of anything like, that I have to find this thing and review it if we're going to do useless gadgets? Oh, any, yeah. Any idea yeah. what I'm talking about? Uh, you know, it is very funny because even Moe's gadget, his letter says, this is so stupid, I had to buy it. Yeah. So you, so it's right in. I don't know in. if this is the same, if we're thinking the same thing. Oh, but okay. The, the thing that jumped to my mind was the little box that has a switch on it, and you flip the switch, and when you turn it on, all it does is activate the box to flip the switch back, and then it goes back to, to normal. Um, I don't, this, that was the first gadget. It's called the useless box. And basically it's a box that has a switch on it that you flip and then the little door opens and then a little arm comes out and it flips the switch the other way. Um, and so that's what I, that's what I aimed to buy. Now yes. I found a kit to make my own at Fry's Electronics and I went through the process of putting it together. So. I have a little video of uh, of my experience with that, so let's let's watch the video. Okay. Hey, Dickie, so here we are with another useless gadget. Hey, waffles, and this is kind of the most useless gadget. This is the first thing that popped to mind when we were covering useless gadgets for this month, which is the useless gadget. It's the it's kind of the classic uh, where you switch a switch and an arm comes out and turns off the thing. Um, now this is a DIY kit, and I do want to point out on the back it says, simple, yes, useless, extremely <laughs> fun, very. We have all the cats here. So we're gonna open this up uh, and take a look at it. Oh man, whoa. Oh, you broke it. Okay. I broke That's the box. Very weird. Oh, what? Okay. So it needed to be open like this. I just ripped it. Okay. <laughs> I ripped the front of the box and waffles is also falling. So here we go. That's the inside. We got a whole bunch of Oh things. my, oh. Looks like some acrylic, another little acrylic piece, some spacers, some stickers, some motors, and a little board. So we're gonna get to uh, building here. So, so far all I've done is I've just removed all of the protective coating off of all of the different um, acrylic sheets. That's really everything that I've done so far. Uh, and that took a good like five minutes, I would say. So now it is time to uh, connect everything together and we're gonna start with the motor and the fasteners. So it told me to get them all uh, together. First thing it looks like I'm gonna be doing is hold the motor with the wires on the left away from you and the nub facing you. Perfect. Place this little thingy this way so the nub faces upwards. Okay, <laughs> that's done. Anyway, uh, so we're going to start following the instructions. Hopefully the cats won't get too much in the way. Okay, y'all are in the way. Uh, and we're going to continue on. Shoot. So we've gotten to a point in the build where Ooh. I have connected the motor, connected a few things, connected the batteries, and we're ready to test. And so this would all be hidden underneath the box uh, later on. But you're supposed to be able to flip this on, and then this arm, <laughs> it misses this. <laughs> oh no! It's supposed to click this back, but my acrylic oh. is like bent in some way, so it totally misses. <laughs> <laughs> the switch. Oh no! So, uh, I just need to troubleshoot a bit more to see if I can get that either bent or, um, s somehow aim it in the correct direction. Okay, so, um, I just went through the most frustrating situation I've ever had to deal with. Um, which is, you have to have all of the pieces, like, together and ready to go before you can start screwing any of these in. So literally every piece has to match up before 
they all fit together correctly. And it's really, really, really frustrating. Um, another super frustrating thing is that, uh, by the way, we never fixed the arm issue. It's just gonna be uh, misaligned. Uh, the other frustrating thing is these washers were on top of this switch right here and they were not mentioned in the instructions. So I was trying to fit all of these acrylic pieces together and they weren't fitting together because there were washers in the way which are not mentioned in the instructions. So we're just doing kind of the final steps here and uh, once this is all tightened up, we can test it out. Okay, so it is completed, although there is one major bug with it. <laughs> that is it. Oh, it's it still messy. Every uh, time. So yeah. what I was going to do was to like hot glue on <laughs> something. A tab? So that it will bump <laughs> the switch correctly. It's just the <laughs> arm right there is not... This has been a little bit of a frustrating project, uh, I'll be honest. Uh, not very simple. Um, the instructions um, have a ton of words which don't make things very simple, like add it to the left side of something. Well, it could, depending on how you have it pointed, <laughs> the left side could be any side. So. Um, all in all, I would give this a, uh, a like a two out of 10 stars. Um, I, I really, really, really find uh, that this was not so great of a um, build. Uh, on top of that, it was fairly expensive, coming in at $35. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. It ended up taking me about an hour to complete uh, everything uh, together. So... An hour-long project uh, for a build that uh, I don't really like that's really, really expensive. <laughs> so, oh, still no. have not fixed the arm. It just it just misses every single time. Um, I'm amazed that it even has written, uh, when, it's, when it's turning it yeah. on, it's green. Yeah. And when the it little... goes off, it turns red. Yeah. It, it looks, it's like almost there, but it's definitely not. And I did a very bad job of, expl I, literally I had worked for probably 30 minutes to try to fit this thing together. And I was in such a frustrated mood. I did such a bad job explaining it. The last step is you have to put this acrylic piece over everything, but none of the walls are connected to anything. This switch isn't connected to anything. This door is connected just by the, the final piece resting on top of the walls. So you, oh. have to, you have to align one, two, three, four um, wall pieces um, against this door, which can just fall off if any of the other walls are misaligned, and the center hole for the switch. So you're like trying to align like 16 different things in and, and one final step. And what really killed it on top of all of that was there were these washers in the way which made it so that oh I, couldn't, my gosh. I couldn't align it at all. Um, it's expensive. The thing is misaligned. It does have the worst troubleshooting guide on how to fix it. Um, it says, if the arm does not fully toggle the switch, loosen these two motor screw mounts and check to make sure that it's flush against the motor. But that doesn't like fix anything. The, the thing that was misaligned was the uh, acrylic arm the, is like yeah. bent. So I need to like get a heat gun and like unbend it. <laughs> anyway, I just had a really frustrating time with this thing. I bought it at Fry's Electronics. You can buy it, uh, which I wouldn't suggest, at amazon.com. Um, at Amazon, it is actually running more expensive than Oh no, I what? saw it at Fry's. It's $38. Oh my, God. Oh my gosh. The cheapest thing. Um, so yeah, so, and it doesn't, it has like some, it says okay reviews um, on there. They do make a version that includes soldering. This version has no soldering. So if you wanted to learn soldering, although once again, I'm not suggesting you buy this, uh, you can do that. There are other useless gadgets on Amazon. Um, so there's a whole bunch of them. This one is probably what I should have done, this $26 DIY kit. Um, so there are other versions of oh, okay. what I did. Um, together. But I kind of felt like this was a nice 
it was like a spirit animal to this uh, to this month's um, uh, uh, theme because not it not only is it was it intended to be <laughs> useless, but even its completed form is so useless it doesn't do the useless thing it was designed to do. This is the most useless gadget um, imaginable because. Uh. It doesn't even do the useless thing, the thing that it was it's supposed to do. Nick with a C found another version of this for thirteen dollars. Oh, uh, leave it to. There you go. On on Amazon. Yeah, it's on Amazon. Oh it my is definitely a different construction, a very different it, construction. Yeah, check that out. And is it already built? No, it looks DIY. Oh, it it is. But yeah. the reviews are even worse. So. Uh, oh my god! Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Start from the engine to locate the main board. I don't know. Anyway, that does not look super great either. So. No. I'd stick away from from the useless gadget. Spike and, what is it? Sp Spike and Z Labs, is that it? Um, the one that, yeah, the one that I got was from, da, 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 da. this is it right here. Yeah. yeah, Spike and Spike and Z, Zeal Z, Z Labs. Um, Spike and Z. Yeah, yeah it's whatever um, this company is. Spike and Zeal. It looks like. Oh German. my god. <laughs> Whew. So really, a useless gadget um, for to to round out the useless gadget month. Um, and there you go. Uh, we'll have a new theme for you next month based off of the patrons so uh, oh, thank perfect. you patrons with perfect. that let's move on to dick's gadget warehouse they're geeky and they're goofy together they are loopy when gadgets pass away he takes them out to play in dick's gadget warehouse oh, well, when Mo sent this in uh, some time back, I thought this is perfect for this week's show because his email says, guys, this is such a silly, no reason why this exists and useless gadget. So silly. I had to buy it. <laughs> Uh, so there. let's th let's take a look at Moe's senseless gadget, and you can start like twenty seconds in. It's I don't know if I edited that's that. Fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's okay. Bartolo. No problem. This is episode one thousand seven hundred thirteen. So, which gadget is it? Thursday, Could be any of these gadgets. This show is magnetic. <laughs> Whiz, we got some CES leftovers. Don't worry, they heat up perfectly in the microwave. We also have a great buy from Jovi and my crappy corner. All next on the Giz Whiz. It's the same dumb show. With okay, guys, see if you can guess. Was the sound coming from my phone? Oh, the first generation Amazon Echo. Hmm. My iPad. My Universal Remote that I believe plays sound, I'm not sure, never set it up, or my umbrella. <laughs> well, given those options. <laughs> yeah, but yes, yes. <laughs> hmm, let's see. Okay, if you would have guessed. <laughs> umbrella. <laughs> this is a device I just bought on Amazon. Wow. I saw it, I thought it was the weirdest thing to have a Bluetooth speaker on a regular <laughs> umbrella. Seems like a so great way to make enemies stairs, on the subway. And yes. Forward on the tracks. The middle is for pause and play. The top is to eject the umbrella. I'm streaming right now from my phone. That caught me off guard. Through the umbrella, the Bluetooth. But one another cool gadget. Let me just show you. Um, it has earphone plugs, so you can plug in an what? earphone. Okay, That's neat. and if you don't want to stream from your phone, you literally can put in what a micro SD card inside <laughs> of it. What? That is way too advanced for an umbrella. And automatically plays that. Of course, your life. 
timing. Where are they gonna stick Bluetooth speakers next? I thought it was the weirdest thing I had to get it. Everything works, the earphones, speaker, Bluetooth, the micro SD card, connection, pause, play, reverse back. It works and it, guess what? You also get a full umbrella, well, a small umbrella. So like I said, it's a standard umbrella. Opens up. It looks fancy. To the outside. The rose and gold. It plays music while you're in the rain. Sing. And in the rain. Cool, huh? <laughs> that is just too Thank useless. You. Hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> Bye. Oh my gosh. That uh, is too funny. It's a riot, isn't it? Yeah. That is a riot. But it just shows you that some people will end up buying absolutely oh anything. Oh my gosh, you got it! Oh, you got the silver version, looks like. You know what? Um, it's oh interesting because Mo only paid $30. Uh -huh. It is now $45. Oh my! But I oh, wait. Uh, there's... Oh, wait his down. came down! Oh, Dickie D! No, no, I only, oh, it came down, oh. And you know I the chat room's gonna it. find it for $5 here yes, in Yes, I know, I know, but you know, I, I I figured this is, I'm gonna do travel gadgets um, a week from this Sunday for ABC News, and I thought this will be a funny thing to show. That and I hilarious. thought I'd gotten a deal because I found it for 39 not 45 and now... It's twenty nine. Yeah. Oh my. Boy, this is this is a show where you and I both really wasted a lot of money. <laughs> we have really made some opportunist on Amazon a lot of money. A ton yes. Of money. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Oh my god. I spent more than you actually. I have a camcorder that I don't know if <laughs> I like it or not for two hundred dollars. You should. De you know. can definitely go through. What I always do whenever I want to return something is I use the uh, the chat feature. Is, uh, is you can call them. Um, they actually have a very good phone support. But um, I tend to to just keep the chat up and just do a live chat with someone about returning. Oh, and, and just say, listen, I think the video quality is terrible. Yeah, I'm, I'm not happy oh, okay. with it. Um, okay. uh, yeah, just okay. blatantly say, I thought it would be better. I don't like the product. I did. I did. Yeah. 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 Okay. So Eric Deckman found one for uh, $19. No. <laughs> Oh it's yeah, the, the problem is I, I also found one for twenty, but it was six weeks away, and I yeah. need this for next Sunday. Yeah, that's oh, it's the same one. Oh, it, it's cl what is it? I can't tell. Uh, it's not. It doesn't have a very good zoom in on the uh, the base of it. No, and also the base looks crappy. Here, let me choose a color and see. Yeah, I can't tell if that's like a weird. I don't even handle? see a speaker. It looks like there's a trigger on that. That is weird. You know what? I'm wondering. It's a selfie stick. Oh my! Oh, I see what it. Oh, it's also oh, it's a an umbrella selfie, selfie, stick. selfie stick. I think that that's uh, just another mode of it. Because if you already have Bluetooth, why not add the selfie stick mode inside of it? I wonder how if they have. Oh yeah, there it is. There is. There's a better photos if you just scroll down a bit. Okay. Well. But I think I you got the better one. Yeah, there's no speaker in that yeah, one. Yeah, I don't think there's... It looks like it might just be a Bluetooth umbrella. I think, yeah. it needs the selfie stick mode thing. Oh, yeah, it has a little one. mirror. Yeah, Bluetooth right. selfie umbrella is what it is. Okay. We don't need it. We don't need that. No, no, no. Um, so, yeah, I think you did good minor off Amazon because I actually just had a, a horror story of... Me, I purchased something on AliExpress um, July? No, January. And uh, it didn't come for two months. And on the last day of buyer protection, I had to dispute the order and have to argue with the people to give me a, a refund. And uh, they didn't. So AliExpress had to step in and uh, offer the refund. And it was like oh, okay. 50 bucks worth of stuff. Oh um, my gosh. So yeah, it was kind of a, a nightmare situation. And so I, I'm, I'm a little bit hesitant now to buy stuff at AliExpress that you... Yeah, I, I'm not crazy about it either. Uh, anyway, Mo, I sent you some stuff. 
Um, and thank you for continuing to contribute. I, actually, I, I thank Mo for all the stuff he sends in. And he said that, that he is so thankful for the Gizwiz because he loves gadgets like crazy, like we do. And he said, until he found us and the Gizwiz, none of his friends were as gadget crazy as we were. <laughs> And he, he feels he has a family. Yay! He found he a place a family, where he belongs. Uh, yes, a, fa a family <laughs> of gadget lovers, um, which we are. Love it, love uh, so, Mo, but we can use more videos from other people, okay? So if you uh, have a video, if you have, if you have a gadget, any kind of gadget, we're looking for a two- to three-minute video. A horizontal uh, plane and just that we can hear you and it can be new gadget old gadget we love gadgets you find in the attic that uh, t 10 20 30 years old and for some reason you couldn't bear to throw it out make a little video send it to us on youtube when you download it there's a drop down menu click unlisted and then just send us the URL. That way people won't see it unless you want them to. Uh, so it goes to mail at gizwiz.tv. If you live in the U.S., you get a 38-year-old Alfred E. Newman picture and whatever the current Mad Magazine is. If you live outside of the U.S., we can give you a shout-out on the show or I'll autograph a photo to you, one of those 38-year-old photos. I'll scan it and send you a high-res image to print out and frame. No one will be the wiser. Mail at gizwiz.tv. We need more videos from first timers. Do it. Do Perfect. it. Perfect. With that, let's move on to the letter. A letter is from Richie Nam, N-A-M-M, -M, and it actually came to me via uh, Twit because I was on with Leo last Saturday and talked about how jealous I was of you, Chad, oh. not having a five below. And oh. I talked about some things that I found at five below, and I got this email two days later. Dick, I found several stores five below stores i bought two iphone lightning connected docks only five dollars each i found cool stuff on their website an app controlled rgb bulb that works with an app for level and uh control color control but the people at the store don't know there are ten dollar items limited stock on the website. What? Uh, I did not know that at all. Uh, he said the dock, the $5 docks work great. I just sent back my recently, my recently purchased Apple dock to Amazon where I paid 32 bucks. And he sent me, he sent us a photo of the dock he bought. He said the attached photo shows the dock I bought. Uh, I went home took it out, tested it, went back to five below and bought a second one. Uh, thanks for the tip, the tip about uh, five below on Tech Guy Labs. Yeah. So, yeah. Interesting. So they, I want to find these $10 items the on their $10 website. $10 items. On <laughs> and look at, I'm I mean, searching. if you can get a $32 dock for $5, for $10, to, I could have probably got that Canon camcorder for yeah. for, for $10. It might have been $12 at five below. But uh, I'm looking, uh, I'm so, looking. Richie, thank you. I, 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 well, you we can't need a find link. any? I can't find any. I'm, I mean, I'm even going, let's look in the Disney stuff. That, that seems like. No, that's all five dollars. No, no, nothing. I'll and nothing in tech, hunting. right? Nothing in tech. Not that I saw. Uh, there we are. Boop. You know, I wonder. This is the only website where they put a period at the end of every single thing <laughs> on their navigation bar. Um, no, everything. To, what could what gaming accessories? Those might be expensive. So let's click that and see. Five, no. Five, five, five. five. No. You know, I wonder uh, if Richie just happened to go in when yeah, they had some sort of a limit, yeah, limited sale thing. He said it was limited. Nothing. Nothing. No. Well, we'll keep searching. With that, I want to say a big old thank you 
to our patrons, patreon.com slash gizwiz. You guys are gonna be choosing the newest uh, gadget, the gadget theme for next month. Um, also be aware that uh, this month's Patreon may look a little higher because we um, forgot to charge you last month. So you're gonna get two this month. Um, and big, big thank you for supporting. So thank you so, 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 so much for supporting the show. If you support the show, you guys make sure that this happens every single week. Uh, right now there are 237 patrons. Thank you guys so much oh, for great. your support. Uh, if Patreon is not your deal and you want to give a different way, you can head on over to gizwiz.tv, click on the Patreon tab, and there's a PayPal link for you to support us directly that way as well. Speaking of gizwiz.tv, if you head on over there, you can see the show live. We're just we're, we're live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern time on Thursday, so please check it out. If you don't catch the show live, no big deal. You can see all of our previous episodes at gizwiz.tv and uh, just scroll through them and, and choose, choose your favorite. There's links to all the gadgets there. Also, if you want even more information about the gadgets that we cover on this show, head on over to gizwiz.biz because that is Dickie D's website that he writes up amazing articles about all of the gadgets that we cover. When you're there, play What the Heck Is It? The game show online. And this is the gadget, the whole gadget, nothing but the gadget. And um, this is obvious what it is. Um, this is a, uh, a flip-flop for an octopus. It's an octopus flip-flop. <laughs> uh, if you think you know what this gadget is, Get a guessin' over at gizwiz.biz. There are six Mad Magazines for correct answers, 12 Mad Magazines for funny, clever, hilarious, and interesting answers. So get a guessin' over at gizwiz.biz. That about wraps it up for this show. Hang on a second. Oh. Someone oh. said go to five below and click on the word wow. Wow, okay. Here we go. And then $10 items come up. And then someone else, uh, Becky said, on the website, search for 10. Okay, so there's this just wow. It just, uh, oh, then you can't click on it though, right? I just did, what is it? Oh. $10. Oh, there they are. There oh my they gosh. are. $10 items. Oh my gosh. Oh no, they're going to have to do their signage over. Oh my gosh. Oh my oh, and have there's to my buy a new location. and there's your there's your little thing with the finger that comes out. <sighs> They're gonna have to have a new <laughs> um uh location on, on 10th Avenue. <laughs> yeah, I hope that oh, they don't have that thank you, box. chat room. And Becky also said if you go to ten uh, five below, just type in uh, 10 below and it takes you to these things. <laughs> oh well, who knew? Our chat room is amazing. Yeah. Oh, the the oh, I, the disco oh, ball oh. speaker. I might have to add a space. Ten below. Okay, let's. Oh my God! There's some ten dollar items. That's crazy. Interesting. On the, Good oh, to you, know. they, oh, the test the Tesla. Oh, the Tesla's forty dollars. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. It's actually thirty five thousand <laughs> yeah. dollars. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thirty five thousand. Um, anyway. Um. Right Chat room, thank you, <laughs> and we'll see you next week. One, uh, one uh, programming note uh, on May first. We're recording May first, which is a Wednesday, right? Because I'm doing a press thing May second, a Thursday. Wonderful. It's all at the top of the show. Top Always the go there, uh, gizwiz.tv, and you'll see any head changes. Uh, see you all next week. We'll see you next week. Bye.